Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here with the week 5 CWO Premier Projections. We are going to be taking a look at all 16 matchups, who I think is going to win, and perhaps more importantly, who you think is going to win. Uh, be sure to fill out the form in the description below. Take the poll. Let me know who you think is going to win. The results will be in the recap video of the poll. And anyone who predicts all 16 matchups correctly um, is going to have an awesome prize at the end of the season. So be sure to fill it out. It's in the description below um, for those 16 matchups this week that you guys just saw. But let's just start talking through them. And I'm going to do my best to just give my commentary. And perhaps you can even fill out the form in another tab while you listen to my thoughts in each matchup. So let's get right into them and first actually let me say this week five is a weird week because it's an inter division uh, week basically as you saw in the previous picture uh, each clan is facing a clan from their own division so the stakes are high a win not only puts you up but puts another clan in your division down which will give the uh, the winning clan a better chance at playoffs. So the first matchup here, Invictus Prime versus Fortus LTU, I think there's really not much question here. Invictus Prime has been dominating. They're actually their worst week was week one when they only scored 82 stars. But besides that, weeks two, three, and four, they've been putting up 85, 86 stars. They're averaging about 85 over the entire season, uh, which is incredible. You know, they're pretty much right up there with almost all the tens three start each week. They had a great war against uh, us. One Hive Genesis played them last week, and they uh, they had an awesome war. So they're definitely a strong clan. Fortis LTU 0-4 just has been kind of underperforming not terrible you know 80 81 82 in that range for stars but that's not enough to get the job done usually so got to go with Invictus Prime with the big uh the win here FYSB versus Sons of Anarchy again I think a pretty easy uh prediction here FYSB 84 stars every single week and uh, that's pretty incredible consistency for sure 84 is solid it's not like great but it's solid and usually it's enough to win uh, the only loss was to i believe art of war who had a great week one week got 85 to get the win over them but sons of anarchy it's been definitely struggling the only clan averaging less than 80 stars per week they're averaging 79.3 over the first four weeks they're, they're struggling and i think that we're going to see fysb get an easy victory along with invictus prime in the giant division we are Spartans versus Chosen Elite. This one's a tough one to predict, I think. We are Spartans 3 and 1, Chosen Elite 2 and 2, but both clans are comparable in the Goblin Division. Uh, Spartans averaging 83 stars per war over the first four weeks, and Chosen Elite averaging uh, just under that at 82.5. So definitely comparable clans. I'm going to go with We Are Spartans. I think they're just a little bit stronger, have a little bit higher potential as we've seen some weeks with them putting up 85 stars. Uh, so I think they're going to get a close win. It's going to be close for sure, but I'm going to give it to, uh, to Spartans this week over Chosen Elite. Next matchup is Forged from Steel versus my very own One Hive Genesis. I actually will not be in this war. I'll be uh, out of town, so I won't be participating. But I think One Hive Genesis is going to get the upset. Forge from Steel very hot the first three weeks, but last week, um, not counting the buy a week before that, I, I guess if you count the buy a week before that, in week four, uh, Forge from Steel only got 78 stars against FYSB, and possibly that was just a hiccup and they'll bounce back, but I think we are seeing some possible vulnerability, and I think the Genesis had a solid week last week. We're slowly starting to improve. I think we're going to get the upset here over uh, Forge from Steel, but I'm definitely interested to see what you guys will say in the poll. Next matchup is Rogue XI or Rogue 11, I guess you could say, versus Finland War with the one uh, for the I. Um, Rogue 11 is 3 and 1, Finland War 1 and 3. I think that uh, Rogue 11 is going to get the win, as the record would suggest. They've been consistent, you know, getting 83, 84 stars, which again isn't great, but that's solid. Finland War has also been relatively consistent, but the, sm the slight difference um, between a few stars each week has led the one clan to be 3 and 1, the other to be 1 and 3, even though they actually haven't been that different in terms of the stars they've scored. And I think just the slight difference each week we see with Rogue 11 scoring a little bit higher is going to get the victory over Finland War in this one. 
Next matchup is King Jeffrey versus Hindustan, and in my opinion, this isn't much of a contest. Hindustan is operating at a level above a lot of clans right now, along with a few other select clans. Uh, last week, very close one qu against Quantum 3, 86-85, um, so really not even that much of a loss in terms of the amount of stars they scored. They just went against possibly the best clan in the Premier League right now. King Jeffrey 2-2, two two, averaging 83.5 stars per war, which is pretty solid actually. Not bad. Um, they're definitely in the top half, I would say, of the clans. It's just that Hindustan has really been playing very well. I don't think that's going to change this week. I think they're going to continue to do well and get the win this week over King Jeffrey. Moving on to the Wizard Division, we have Quantum 3 versus Pinoy Bantitos. Quantum 3, one of the three remaining undefeated clans, along with Invictus Prime and Marshall's Nation. I think they're going to get the win this week. Uh, we, we've seen such high performance, the uh, highest average stars um, per week at 85.8 over the first four weeks. They actually have a high amount of stars against, an average of 84 stars per uh, star, stars against average each week, which is pretty high considering everything, uh, but they still managed to be 4-0, and I think that their offensive power is going to be enough to get the win over what's otherwise a very good clan, Pinoy Banditos, uh, performing well, averaging uh, a solid amount of stars, about 84 per week, um, and they are 3-1, and one, but still, i got to go with the division leader, the undefeated team, Quantum 3, especially after the awesome war they had against Hindustan in the Battle of the Undefeateds last week. Okay, got another upset for you guys. I think this might be my second one after, or maybe my third. I can't keep track of the amount of upsets I've called so far. But I think Crystal Warrior is going to get the win over Grumpy Old Man. They have more stars for, on average, just slightly more than Grumpy Old Man. In the last two weeks, they've also outscored Grumpy Old Man. So I think the records don't reflect the, uh, the level of these clans. They're still very similar, but I think Crystal Warrior's actually been performing a little bit better. Nothing against Grumpy Old Man. I think they're still a solid clan, but I think I'm going to go with Crystal Warrior with the upset this week and to get their first win and get rid of that zero at the, uh, at the beginning of their record. So we have Art of War 2-2 two two versus Dark Looters X 3-1. For a moment, when I was thinking about this before recording, I was going to uh, choose Art of War, but I just can't bet against DLX, despite a very uh, surprising loss last week, scoring uh, under 80 stars. I think they got 78 or 79. Um, so a surprising loss last week against Marshall's Nation, even though Marshall's Nation was undefeated, still surprising, especially with their total score. Um, and despite Art of War being on a two-week uh, winning streak, I think DLX is still strong, still going to show they're one of the top clans and bounce back from that loss last week um, with a victory this week. Next matchup is Dark Avengers versus DS. I'm going to go with Dark Avengers. I think they, um, despite their record, they've been actually performing relatively well. They are 1-3, in three, but they have an average of 83.3 stars 4, whereas DS only is averaging 81.3. That's actually a pretty big difference, a total 2-star margin in their average stars 4 over the first 4 weeks. So I think that's significant, and we're going to see that um, evident in this war by a win from Dark Avengers. Nothing against DS, but they are um, they do have a negative 1 average differential in stars um, over the first 4 weeks, and I think um, they are 2-2 two two, um, a little bit to just some how the numbers have worked out for them each war to get a few close victories, but I think it's going to go to uh, to Dark Avengers this week. This next war is one of the three undefeated clans, Marshall's Nation. Um, this is weird. They're undefeated, but they're only averaging 82.8 stars four, which is less than some two and two clans. They might be good at base building, though, um, because they are uh, only averaging 79.8 stars against, which is very low. I think possibly even the lowest. Yeah, that's going to be the lowest in the entire league. I think they're going to get the win here um, against Three Point Park. If it was a better clan, I might go with an upset, but Three Point Park... Um, only been kind of a so-so clan over the first few weeks. So I'm going to go with Marshall's Nation, uh, continuing to go undefeated, along with Quantum 3 and Invictus Prime. Next matchup, we have LT versus Terps win big. LT, I'm going to, they get my vote for the win this week. They are on a three-week winning streak. Besides that first week, they've won everything else. They're looking pretty solid. Not, you know, extremely high scoring, but doing enough to get the victory. And I think, uh, Enough will not have to even be that much against Terps when big. 
um, who is averaging very low in terms of stars, 81.3 and uh, is 0-4. I think uh, LT will win and go up to 4-1, sending Terps win big down to 0-5. Moving along, Pigeonism 1-3 versus uh, Ballard Doharis. Yes, 0-4. Uh, Gonna go with Pigeonism. I think, you know, it's evident that both clans are kind of putting up pedestrian numbers, but if we look at kind of the distribution of their scores, uh, the better scoring days for Valor Harris came in the first two weeks. Last two weeks, they've kind of been uh, slumped down even further than usual. Pigeonism has not been scoring extremely high, but they've been scoring, I think, you know, moderately, which is going to be enough to get the victory. Both clans not um, that hot right now, but I think Pigeonism is just going to do a little bit better and get the victory in probably what's going to be a close war. This next one's interesting. We have two 2-2 two and two clans, J Off and CZX Knights. I'm going to go with uh, Jay off just because I think this is kind of an opportunity for them to bounce back and I think they're going to take it. They were such high scoring, 87 and 86 in the first two weeks. Then they faced some tough clans, to be fair, and uh, slumped a little bit, but I think this week they're going to bounce back. Uh, CZX Knights has kind of been middle of the pack, what you can consider a very solid clan, very average clan, nothing against them. Average is, uh, is good, especially in the first few weeks, it's good to be average, then you can kind of try to separate yourself later on, but I think that's this is not going to be the week to do that. I think Jay Off is going to kind of bounce back a little bit and uh, get the victory here. This next one is with two very comparable clans, both 3-1, and one, but I'm going to go with WHF2. If you look at the stats, um, which often don't lie, WHF2 just a little bit better, um, averaging 83.8 to Dragon Rejects 83.0. Uh, WHF2 has the three-week winning streak to Dragon Rejects two-week winning streak. Not that that makes a huge difference, but I think WHF2 is just a little bit more solid, even though both clans are looking very nice. Actually, this division, the Wall Breaker division, that is this matchup in the next one you see here, won every matchup last week. So all clans uh, are starting to look good in the Wall Breaker division, even though they started out with possibly some of the worst records. Um, so it's kind of interesting there. But this last matchup, uh, Quixotic Squad versus Emphatic Fury. I think it's clearly going to be Quixotic Squad getting the victory. They're performing very well. Um, had a very close matchup, I think, in week three against um, Quantum 3. And they're one of the best 2-2 two two clans in the league right now. I think that they are poised for a very comfortable victory over Emphatic Fury. Who got their first week or their first win last week, but uh, still hasn't been performing that well. I think this one clearly is going to go to Quixotic Squad, and yeah, I guess th that's it. Those are my predictions, guys. Um, we'll see how much they come true. But like I said at the beginning of the video, be sure to fill out the poll because I'm interested to see what you guys have to say. I like putting those results up in the recap video, and some of you guys have the opportunity to win. A prize if you predict all 16 right in any of the weeks um, that we do these predictions. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and the attacks in the background. Like I said, I will not be uh, around where I usually am this weekend, so I will not be following the wars quite as closely, but I'll do my best to still monitor them, still have the recap video, all that good stuff. And I'm rooting for One Hive Genesis, and good luck to all of you guys who are watching, who are participating in CWL, um, especially the Premier League. Good luck with your matchups. Thanks for watching. Be sure to fill out the poll, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bisectatron out.